Did you guys know that the cloud is just someone else's computer? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today I am gonna be showing you guys how to build your own cloud. So let's get started. I wanna thank Western Digital for sending me these two hard drives for this project. This is the Western Digital Reds, which is the NAS storage versions. And uh, in this video, we're only gonna be using one because I wanna dedicate another video just to set these two up on a Raspberry Pi using a RAID configuration. So you might wanna hang out for that. And we're also gonna need a Raspberry Pi, which I'm gonna be using for this video, but you could also use the Tinkerboard or the Pine64, anything that's like SBC would work on this. The image we're gonna be using, which is a really good one called Diet Pi. Did not know how good it was until I started playing around with this. So I'm actually gonna dedicate a video just on this image later in the future. And you might wanna stick around for that as well. So to get started, we wanna head over to dietpi.com. We're gonna navigate over to the download section and here you have all the list of boards that you could use. So you're not stuck with just using the Raspberry Pi and it will work throughout. So basically if you have like an Odroid C1, you can download the same image and follow the same steps to get the own cloud working. So I'm gonna download the Raspberry Pi and hit the little download button image right here. I already downloaded it, so I'm just gonna let this go and hit cancel. Next thing we're gonna need is Etcher. So here, you're gonna select the image, and mine is called Diet Pi. I already extracted it, called IMG. And it downloads in a 7Z format, so you might need to download a 7Z unzip. I'm gonna hit open, select the drive. I'm gonna be putting this on an eight gigabyte SD card. And now I'm gonna hit flash. It's gonna be pretty quick because the image size is not that big. And once this is over, we're gonna head right over to our Pi. All right, now that we booted up from our Raspberry Pi, uh, the first thing we need to do is actually set up connection uh, and then install everything. To log in, it's gonna be root and diet pi. It's gonna jump right into the settings menu. Uh, you could always access this later, but the first time you're booting up, it will jump right into this menu. So I'm gonna hit okay and let it do its thing. Uh, internet is required. Okay, I will set that up. And I have Wi-Fi. You must enable it. It's gonna enable my Wi-Fi, which is fine. I only show this step because I know most people use Wi-Fi, or else I would've just dragged the wire and have this step completely skipped. But yeah, set up Wi-Fi, you have to enable it. And then it's gonna go through the menus of the password and username and stuff. All right, now we're gonna exit that menu because we are done connecting to our Wi-Fi. And the next step is, you see it's automatically gonna grab everything, update all the packages, everything that you need. So it's automatically gonna do this. It's gonna take a few minutes, so we'll just skip ahead. All right, now let's log in. I'm just gonna jump right into software optimization, optimized. And here is where we are gonna actually look, you see how much software this guy has? But what we are looking for is own cloud. And the reason why I'm actually doing it through here, now you see own cloud, is because to set up the own cloud manually, it's a lot of steps just to get the IP working or all that other stuff. And DietPi provides a way that completely does it automatically. It basically sets up the whole thing. All you have to do is just hit enter on own cloud. Once I'm done with this, all I have to do is just hit okay and install. And it's gonna say, do you wanna install own cloud? You see it on top. Would you like to begin? Hit okay. Now this step will take, I think, maybe half an hour or so. Go out, grab a coffee, do whatever you need. But yeah, it is gonna take a while just to grab this. Now it's after the reboot, here comes the hard part. What we're gonna be doing is attaching the hard drive, mounting it, formatting it, then putting it into our startup group, uh, the FS tab, so it will boot up automatically. It's fixing permissions, uh, doing some stuff with MySQL to add user accounts. Then we'll go to the actual setup in the browser where we could set up our own cloud. All right, so to get started, I'm gonna do uh, root diet pi. And in here, the first thing we're gonna do is check out our hard drive. So I'm gonna do ls dev, just to make sure that there's a SDA or SD, you know, SDA or SD1. So now that we know that the hard drive is being seen by the operating system, we're gonna do fdisk slash dev slash SDA. All right, now I know there's a partition on here, so what I'm gonna do is delete it. So I'm gonna delete and then make a new partition primary, which is P, and I'm just gonna let it default and everything. And W to write. Now, once that's all done, the first thing you need to do is make fs.ext4, because we're gonna format it to an ext4 uh, partition. 
dev sda1 and here it's just basically like a format it's going to take a minute or two and they'll just go through the whole entire cycle all right it's done now let's add this to our fs tab so to do that we're going to do nano etc fs tab and on the last line we are going to add dev sda1 that's the partition we've been using hit tab data store i'm actually going to make a folder called data store in the root partition so data store tab ext4 that's the partition defaults and then zero zero Control x to save hit yes to okay so what i'm going to do now is make dir slash data store and you should see a new folder called data store there and if i do uh, mount dash a it will automatic, automatically mount my hard drive using the fs tab properties and everything so if everything went okay you should just see the next line and in data store you should see like a lost and found i believe yeah there you go okay we're not done yet because we actually have to create the directory and add permissions to it so we're going to do ch own www data colon www data to data store and set the permission to chmod uh, 0770 data store there we have it we're done with that folder now now the permissions correct uh, the user and everything is being able to be accessed by uh, own cloud and that is all set the next step is to get our configuration utility working for some reason after you install it it doesn't go right into the installation wizard on own cloud so we have to remove a file so rm var www slash uh, html slash own cloud wait oops sorry www slash own cloud slash config and then config.php that's the file we have to remove once you're done with that the installation wizard would kick back in all right now that we finished the hard drive mounting permissions we could now jump into doing the um, mysql database so mysql dash user would be root password is diet pi and you see i didn't put a space in p you're not supposed to put space there okay so the first thing we need to do is create a database to store everything so we're going to do create database own cloud there you go now we're going to have to create a user just so we could um outbreak that database itself so we're going to do create user oc admin and you have to write it out this way for the user because that's the same user account that it gets created from own cloud when you're doing the administration setup local host identified by and then we got to set it a password so i'm just gonna name it diet pi for the password there we go and then we're going to grant privileges just for that database so it can't leak out to another database in, in case you have something else on there so grant all per privileges on own cloud dot star to oc admin at local host and i'm missing a few quotations there so pop one there pop one there pop one there there we have it and then flush privileges and we are done with this step now we could actually hop into our browser to set the rest up all right now uh, to access the raspberry pi you would have to pop in the ip address and then slash own cloud and that will bring you right into the own cloud uh setup menu from here we're going to set up the first admin account so i'm going to do admin it could be anything it could be don or whatever but this uh, first account will be the administrative account do admin password is the password and here is where we change our data folder to data store which is where our hard drive is located database user we will use oc admin password is diet pi what we did earlier and this is going to be own cloud for the database name and local host once you hit finish setup it's gonna create everything that it needs to, all, all database tables, the folders and everything. And it'll just spit you out into the menu when you're done. So I'm just gonna hit don't save and let this do its thing. And here we have it, it spit back to the login menu. Over here, we just go in with admin password. 
It's gonna log in for the first time. And you can actually download the app for your phone and you could use it like Dropbox and stuff like that. So that would be awesome. Especially if you're gonna be outside, like not at home, you can set up a VPN from your phone to your house and then still log into your own cloud this way as well. You know, basically what I use it for is to back up my data from my phone because I take pictures a lot and I'll just take the own cloud app and then just send it over to my, basically my little tiny server here. So I'm gonna close this out. But here we have it, all our files, everything that we need to make. We're going to admin, users, create new users if we wanted to. So if you had somebody else in the household that wanted to use it, you could also create users for them. It basically works as the way it should. Um, I could add folders, test, uh, go in here. Uh, there's no files, I could probably upload a file, a screenshot or something. And that uploads right to the thing. And if I wanted to, I could just uh, click on it and delete. I could upload anything. If you got media file, if you upload the media file here, you could actually make it play from here. If you got documents, you can make it play from here. It's pretty interesting. Uh, look into it and there's a lot more things you could do with OwnCloud. There's actually an OwnCloud manual where it could tell you what it can do. I'm not going to go into specifics, but yeah, this is basically your own cloud. So thanks for watching this video. If you guys liked it, please hit that like button. If you want other people to make the own cloud for you so you don't have to, help me share this video to them. And if you guys got any questions about this, hit up in the comments below. Now I'm gonna be doing a lot more projects with the Western Digital hard drives that I got from Western Digital. And I'll leave a link in the description below for where I got these and what model they are. Now, if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hit that little bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.